My name is Alex Cecilio, I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the DPI of an image in InDesign. <clears throat> now, um, you can't actually adjust the DPI of an image in InDesign um, just simply because uh, InDesign is more of a, a vector-based program, and if you bring in an image that isn't vector-based, you're going to have some difficulty um, making this image look nice, and I'll show you why. Um, so I'm just going to hold down shift and pull on these little tabs and then I'm going to hold down control click and if you go to fitting and you go to fit content to frame now you can see um, it's a little more pixelated and not really fluid and nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to Photoshop and I've already opened my image and I'm actually going to change the re resolution of this image. So I'm, when I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to go to Image, and I'm going to go to Image Size. And this is going to bring up the, the, the image size properties of your picture. So my resolution is way too small uh, to successfully blow up this image in InDesign. So I'm going to make my resolution at 300. And this can take a couple seconds because it's basically resizing this image. And so I'm going to actually select all of it and I'm going to copy it. And the way you can do this is push command A or you can go to edit, copy. And then I'm going to go back to InDesign. Or actually what I would recommend, never mind, is to save it. And that way it'll save. And then you can open it in InDesign. So we're going to delete that. We're going to go to File, Place, and then I'm going to open it up again. And then I'm going to place my image. And it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work um, the first time because it may save us something else, so hopefully at this will, but so then fit content to frame. All right, so yeah, it didn't work, so go back into InDesign. Oops. And normally this should work, um, but it always, all, always depends on the image um, and what you made it with. Sometimes uh, certain brushes, for example, this is a brush that I downloaded off of the internet. Um, they're not all brushes are meant to be resized in such a way. So you can also do um, fit content proportionally, and it'll actually make it fit a little better. And it looks a little better, but because this was made in Photoshop, um, this image is not never going to have that fluid li uh, line capacity that a uh, vector image would have. My name is Alex, and this is how you adjust the DPI of an image in InDesign. Thank you.